for the gym today. We've got a fresh new outfit from Lululemon, a new flow Y bra, and a new pair of Align shorts. Good morning, guys. guys and welcome back to my channel I'm Sydney if you're new here happy Friday um actually I would like to say start saying happy casual Friday <laughs> that's what my dad and I always say to each other because um long story short when I was growing up like literally probably starting when I was like five years old maybe my dad would wear a tie every single day to work except on Fridays they had casual Fridays so he was able to wear his work shirt like unbuttoned up here a little bit and like not have a tie and we would celebrate that because it meant it was almost the weekend and he was able to be a little bit comfier on Fridays so we always said that we would always say happy casual Friday and we actually still do we text each other after all these years and say happy casual Friday and it just it's probably literally been like 18 or 19 years of doing that so that's fun but um I had a little bit of an emotional drive to the gym this morning not to start the vlog off like that but um I've only really lost one person very close to me in my life I guess I would say and it's my grandpa and it's still pretty recent so today's his birthday so we're celebrating him down here today um, and I know he's he's celebrating right up there with us but um, it's just hard holidays are different and then also it being his birthday it's just it's always gonna be hard you know and that's part of losing people that you love so much but I started like getting teary-eyed as I was thinking about it and just you know wishing him a happy birthday and all of that and I'm like ah oh, we're about to go in the gym like let's not have red crazy eyes and um before we go into workout and like get out of that negative mindset we're gonna be happy and celebrate him today and it's happy casual Friday so um yeah welcome to my vlog it's gonna be a good day right after the gym I'm gonna get a really good workout in I feel good um Despite the fact that I literally woke up at 3.13, I just checked my aura ring, I'm like, yep, sure enough, woke up at 3.13 and was up the whole entire time since. Um, I like kind of just rested my eyes until like 5.45 or so, but I feel good, I feel energized, and uh, I'm gonna go grocery shopping right after my workout. So I brought my reusable bags, and we will head to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's, I'm thinking, uh, because Whole Foods has some stuff and then I want to get some flowers from Trader Joe's and I also just like never look around Trader Joe's and I know it's a lot more affordable than Whole Foods. Kind of overwhelms me in there a little bit but um, because it's so busy in the Tampa one. It's always so busy in there. Hopefully not on like a morning time Friday morning. I don't know. We'll see. But first we're going to go to workout in, get a good little sweat in and I will see you guys after. <laughs> Workout is complete. I think that got my mind exactly where it needs to be for a freaking fabulous day. Um, time to go grocery shopping. Also, I don't know if I'm supposed to be sharing this yet. I feel like it's fine. So, you guys can see that my pre-workout was not even barely drank. I'm in the process of taste testing some things and I'll keep you guys in the loop as we go not a fan of this one so back to the drawing board um, but you guys I don't know if you guys remember when I first started my protein powder collab and you guys are like the first to even know what product we're doing <laughs> but um, when I was doing my protein powder collab I did a ton of taste testings and I would be like yeah nope didn't like the aftertaste or yeah you know the aftertaste is fine but like I don't think it like really hits the salted caramel and like salted caramel protein powder so stinking good so good it turned out to be like exactly what I wanted and it just took a long time so um, I'm really excited about this process but I didn't even finish it that's how much I did not like this flavor at all whatsoever so like I was looking through the ingredients I'm like I wonder what ingredient it is that I'm like tasting a little bit too much of so um yeah that's like what's really cool about one up 
working with one up and having collabs and I'm so blessed and freaking I can't even believe it but I'm able to be so hands-on and I'm able to like really voice it's not just like slapping my name on something like I'm able to literally make this product mine and me all about like what I think everyone will really like so yeah that one did not do so hot this morning and that's okay I so I worked out without pre-workout but I actually had tons of energy and I felt really good in my workout so just want to update y'all on that I'll continue to keep you guys in the loop on all of that process because I think it's a really cool process like really trying to come out with like my dream product and it takes months and months so I just think that it's cool to show you guys more of that rather than just show you like the final result in Whole Foods I have not had cottage cheese in so long I'm so excited for a recipe I saw on TikTok so I'm getting that I also got a pack of strawberry vanilla olipops and then my Whole Foods has these banana cream and I actually like them. Grocery shopping complete. I'm gonna have an Olipop for the road. And it's starting to rain right now so we're gonna stick to just Whole Foods and not Trader Joe's. So we're headed home. Okay, here's a haul of everything. It's so gloomy out so it's kinda dark in here. But I got some rice cakes of course. I got some bread because I'm going to make a recipe that I found on TikTok which is with the cottage cheese. So I got this lactose-free cottage cheese. I'm actually planning on slowly incorporating um, dairy back into my diet, but then I saw that the lactose-free option was there. Um, but I am going to slowly start bringing in some like cheese, just one thing at a time to see how my body responds. Because I definitely miss having like cream cheese and cheese in general dairy because I personally don't normally love like dairy-free cheese and options like that. Um, I've got a lemon right here. I've got this yogurt, plant-based yogurt, which is a vanilla cinnamon kind that I always get. I got some Olipop, which I also got some strawberry vanilla over here. This is like very spread out and not organized at all whatsoever. Some red onions that are pickled. I've got riced cauliflower, some mushrooms, some salsa, some micro arugula, and then I got some alfalfa sprouts. And I'm going to use that and um, some tomatoes on my bread with cottage cheese. I'm going to make that soon. I got some pizza, which this is margarita pizza. And this one's gluten-free, but it does have cheese in it. So slowly but surely. Um, I wouldn't say that like processed cheese is what I'm trying to go for, but lately I've been craving some pizza, so I got some of that. And then I got some ketchup, some more avocado spray, blueberries, some tuna, and some almond milk. They didn't have oat milk, which I just don't understand how it sells out so quickly, but I am about to make some coffee because I haven't even had coffee today. And then we're gonna make my little cottage cheese recipe. You can be a cottage cheese hater all day long, but you can't even tell me that that does not look delicious. I did like a thick spread of cottage cheese, some cucumbers, tomatoes, some sprouts, some lemon juice, and then some salt and pepper. I tried to do pickled onions, but I could not open up the pickled onion jar, so we're gonna try this out. I cut it in half and I already had a bite. Y'all, what the heck? This is actually so good. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I clearly liked it because I'm making another one and then I told Jay when he gets home, I'll make him one too. Having a little midday coffee. It's 145 right now and I'm gonna do two of these if you guys do the little Verturo is that what these are called the little shots for Nespresso which ones do you guys like best because I don't even know like if this is light roast and then these mean that they're dark roast I'm not really sure I need to I need to learn my Nespresso ways do you want a coffee babe you do Look at this package that showed up at my door. It is literally ginormous. I don't even know how to show you guys a size reference. Insanely big. From Amazon. I'm so excited to see everything that's in here. Holy Moses. Y'all, what the heck? 
There are so many gifts in here. I put everything in boxes, but everything that I got from Amazon, I'm just doing a little giveaway on my Amazon because it's a lot of things that I already have, like my Sol de Janeiro and a waffle maker, blankets. We do not need more blankets around here, but yeah, I posted it all over on TikTok. We are about to head out the door for dinner, and I just tried on every cute dress in my closet, and now we're wearing an oversized blazer and some white jeans because it's a little too chilly out for a dress and I was like trying to layer with um, blazers and whatnot and I just didn't like it. So we're gonna save all my cute dresses. I'll be able to wear them soon. I miss wearing like cute, fun, colorful dresses in the summer, but it's on the horizon. So we're headed to dinner. We're going to a place called Meat Market. I'm wearing this purse with it. We've got Jay back here. It's you in all black tonight. It's normally me in all black, but I'm excited for some oysters, some tuna tartare, and you're getting some steak probably. So, let's do it. Home from dinner and in some comfy clothes now. I have this new sweatsuit on from Set Active. We're looking majorly cozy and we're actually about to run to Whole Foods to get a snack. So this is what we're wearing there. Look how cute this is from Whole Foods. Literally more frosty than it is muffin. Or what is this called? Cupcake. <laughs> Kiss me. We also grabbed a couple other things so I got some more cottage cheese because Jay really liked it today. So I'm like, we're probably going to go through this in the next couple days. Probably should get some more. And then I also got some of this smash. It's called Chia Smash and it's strawberry flavored, which I think it would taste really good to do the toast with some cottage cheese and some of that and then some honey on top. Can y'all tell when I like something, I love it. And then I also got some strawberries. And that's it. Oh, and Jay got some donuts. What are these? Donuts? What are these called? Chocolate top vanilla cream eclair. Chocolate eclair. So good. Good morning, guys. It's the next morning. I'm just ice rolling my face right now. And I just made my greens. And I think that I'm just gonna have like a little slow Saturday this morning. And my gym doesn't even open up until eight. So I think that's a good reason to just kind of take it slow today, this morning. I'll probably make some coffee here soon, have a little breakfast, but good morning. Headed out on a little sunrise walk. Look who I dragged along with me. Good morning. <laughs> He's got his coffee with him and all. About to head to a workout. I just made uh, more cottage cheese toast, which I forgot to take a video of, but these are my new obsession. What the heck? I've never had the caramel ones before. I don't normally like smart sweets. Wait, is that what they're called? Sweets. Yeah, smart sweets. Wow, I'm literally reading it. I don't normally like love them that much, but these ones, holy Moses. Here's what my toast looked like this morning. I did strawberries cottage cheese and some honey on top okay hi guys it's been a little bit i'm about to go shopping at hyde park with jay here's my outfit just going comfy with this all yours long sleeve from lulu and then some biker shorts slides on it's such a nice day out but got a good workout in it's like two o'clock right now and we're just gonna have a little day date so happy saturday <laughs> Time for sweet green. It's my first time at the Tampa one, but I absolutely freaking loved it last time I had it. All right, we're gonna do a quick little haul. Jay got some new joggers. Which joggers are these? These are... Surge joggers. Surge. As his other joggers are literally on the floor <laughs> from from trying these on, these but are they reflective though. These are yeah. But he also got them in this color right here, and he got them in large. The guy that was working at Lululemon, he was actually wearing these ones, and I was like, wait, I really like that color. Shout out Robert. Yeah, his name was Robert. 
And then Jay also got this sweatshirt, which he got that in extra large. I wanted it in like an oversized, but it still fits really good. Yeah, he wanted it to be oversized, but he's too We're strong for it. He's too strong for an extra or for an extra large. And then I got this one, which is um, a fleece half zip, I think is what it's called. Oversized fit fleece half zip, and it's in the men's section. And I have it in black, and I have it in cream, and I'm obsessed with it. So I got it in navy. I think this will look really cute with my Align shorts in navy. Do a whole. Navy I think outfit. so too. Okay, I'm gonna do a little haul. I have been putting away clothes. I'm just like tired. It's starting. It's only like six o'clock, and I'm ready for bed at this point. But we'll do a quick haul. I got this Flex Hairspray by Living Proof. Is that going to focus and show you guys? And then I got some new Giorgio Armani foundation, which the lady at Sephora was like, what brush are you using with this? Because I told her that I go through it really quickly. And she's like, it's very, it's not like super full coverage. Like you shouldn't be going through it that quickly. Um, so you should use like a less dense brush, I think is what she was saying. Like a big fluffy brush. And it will go on like nice and I guess it should look more like airbrushed, I guess. Because sometimes I think like with the brush that I use, it just looks kind of cakey. But I've been using this foundation for so long, so we're just sticking to it. And then I got Kosa's Revealer, and this is like my under eye concealer that I use. And I got in 2W. That's everything from Sephora. I got this mug in from Amazon because we've been having coffee at home and it's just like a really simple big pink mug. I like to have my mugs like pretty hefty because I like to do froth milk and I need just like big honkin mugs for that because if not then you can't fit enough milk in there and it's too coffee tasting. Then from Monday Swimwear I got this. And it's just like a cute clutch for like summertime, for vacations. I think that I have like a lot of bags, but nothing in like purses, but nothing that looks like super beachy. And then I got a couple other things from Monday Swimwear. I've never gotten anything from there before, but I've always seen it. And I'm like, I don't need to order from there. This is, I guess it's like a one piece, like it's connected, but it's basically a two piece. And I think I'm really going to like this one. And it's connected by this like ring right here. Then another Monday swimwear part of my order was this top and it looks like this. I think that you could actually wear it both ways. You could wear it both ways I'm thinking. So you could wear it like thick like a halter top or like this which this is why I bought it to go like this. We'll have to try that on and see if I can wear it both ways. Then I got some stuff in from Daily Drills, which they actually sent this to me. And it's this sports bra that says Daily Drills on the back. And also the ribbed bottoms. So black ribbed biker shorts that say Daily Drills on the back. And then some maroon ones. And then the maroon sports bra to match that. And then this crew neck, which their crew necks or their sweatshirts feel very comfy and not too thick. Simple. And then this sweat set, which these are the joggers. I already know I'm going to live in these. They're like a charcoal gray joggers. And I love how they just have like a little bit of branding on them. And then the matching oversized sweatshirt that is like, I guess kind of looks like a Henley almost. And I already showed you what I got from Lululemon. And then the only other thing that I got is from 437. And it's this little bikini. But I can already tell it's just going to be... It's going to be too tiny for me. I don't know if I can do like that cheeky of a bathing suit bottom. And it did not look that cheeky on the girl on the website. I know it because I would never have ordered it if it looked that cheeky. So we'll have to see. I'm going to try that on tomorrow or something. I'm not in the mood to try anything on... I think that's everything I ordered and everything I got today. Um, but I think I'm going to end off this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed my Friday and Saturday in my life. And I think I'm just going to continue doing some laundry. I think in every single vlog I say I'm doing laundry. And that is because I can just never catch up on 
<laughs> never can catch up on laundry and I also think that I just really desperately need to go through my closet and get rid of a bunch of stuff that I don't wear because I get so overwhelmed when I'm trying to get dressed for stuff and I don't have enough hangers for everything so my closet just gets so messy I know it's not a bad issue to have to have too many clothes but it is unnecessary honestly so I'm um, I'm going to just kind of continue cleaning up my closet, cleaning up my room, doing some laundry, and then relaxing for the rest of the night. Since, like I said, it's only 6 and we just had sweet green for dinner, so I think we'll just have a very chill rest of the night, have an early bedtime, and then I'll wake up early in the morning tomorrow to get ready for church. So, I love y'all, I adore y'all, and I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog.